All right, guys, phase one here. We're going to take out this sink today, uh, the tool of the trade, the wrench. We're going to get the, uh, it's basically the supply lines off, the water supply line, water's off already. Live TV, folks, live TV. Got my cup of joe. Ah, first mate's rearing to go, but I'm not. Ah, I'm beat. As you know, I work at night, so I only got a small window to do things in the morning with Monk's taking care of my son. Got the infamous red bucket catching the water. So I'm going to stick my head back here and see what the hell I got to do in here. Hopefully this works. If not, I'm going to try something else. Uh, boy, let's see. Do, 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 do. Close this up. What is it, guys? Uh, lefty loosey? Righty tighty? Is that how it goes? I think that's what they taught me. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's try this one. <laughs> Loosening up. It's probably not the best tool for the job, but it's what I can find. Live TV, folks. Yeah, I can't get this thing on here, right? tools to work with. Okay, come on, see. <laughs> yeah, I might have to I might have a, a shorter handle one of these. It might work a little bit better. If I could somehow just get this in here and get on it. But see what's happening is the off the valve is straight up and down. So when this is hitting it's hitting that, that valve. And obviously I don't want to turn it any 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 light. Right, I'll get this other one. That's a better angle. I'm sure I'm going to have some water spillage back here, so i got to get a towel. But, but this is phase one. What we want to do today is try to get this out. And I don't know if that's going to be it. Or... Um, there is a bracket back here that's holding the pedestal pedestal sink top on. So uh, I'll show you that as soon as I get this off. So this is going to be take me a little bit. I may have to go find another ratchet or wrench, whatever the hell this thing's called. Goes to show you my terminology with tools it is very novice. All right, that one's loosened off. I might have to get something a little bit different for this one because I'm not sure if I can get this on here. Yeah, see I get it here but I can't turn it. I go up at an angle. Yeah, I don't know. See she wants to go right there flat like this but I gotta try to do it at an angle because of the handle. Uh, so, I'm going to try to see if I can go in my toolbox and find a, a smaller one that I can somehow maybe get this to go back right. Come on, you piece of trash. I don't know if I have anything else. Maybe a pliers. But, yeah. Live TV. So, what I'll do is I'm going to see if I can find a small, shorter handle one of these. And I'll bring you back when I got this top off. And I'll show you the next phase that i got to do. i got to take off this damn uh, bracket on the wall that's holding this on. And see what I'm going to have to entail with spackling, uh, spackling situation. You know, what i got to spackle. You know, some of the imperfections, obviously. 
And obviously that's going to have to be back with maybe because, I mean, I think it's going to be hidden anyway, obviously with the new cabinet that's going here. But the captain likes to do things right sometimes anyway. All right, so I'll bring you back when I got all that off. All right, phase one is complete. I uh, got it off. As you can see, there's some gouge here, a bunch of uh, gouges here and stuff. And see, I got this bracket here. So I'm hoping that these aren't stripped, but they're also, they have the uh, Phillips head, you know, the diamond shaped, uh, regular like Phillips head screw, like a screw. And they also have the flathead design, so they're double. You can either use a flathead, so it looks like I'm going to have to use a flathead to get them out of the wall. Ah, yeah. So, let me go get a drill gun. And this just pops out like this, as you see. Now, my new, the sink setup that I showed you the other day has the, uh, so I'm not even going to mess with this coming out of the damn wall. That's just going to stay there. So I have to find something, either to get new piping to connect. I have this. This went like this, obviously. So yeah, I can keep this. Oh, geez. Live TV, folks. Live TV. Uh, so uh, I'll answer that in a minute. Um, where was I getting at? So either I replace this with some... Uh, PVC piping a lot of times. That's what I did in the kitchen. I got some PVC piping to replace all that. So maybe I'll go see. I have some extra pieces out in the garage. See what I can do with that. Uh, obviously the drain pipe and the whole setup for the new sink design. You saw that yesterday. It comes with everything. So it's just a matter of this and the hoses that go in here. Um, I do have these lines here, but a lot of times, like I said, when you go to do any, anything, Replacing anything, it always tends to leak. So, because this is all original, they came with the house. Uh, God knows, well, the house was built in '99. So, if the, the people, the other owners that I bought this house off of back in 2006 never changed this pedestal sink, and this was just original. So, this has been in here since '99. Now, that's a long time. So, I may, you know, may uh, just replace these, and they're pretty short, but this was a pedestal sink. So I'm not sure the, the distance when I put the vanity in with the new setup, what's the distance of the hoses by me. I mean, they're flex hoses. I'll probably buy some flex hoses, not straight piping like that. And maybe even a, a flex one of these, depending on the, the piping when I do get it all in. But you guys will see that. You'll be along for the journey. All right. So I'll bring you back when uh, I get my, my drill gun. Too big. Yeah. Not even that. Uh, well, this one isn't even hovel or anything. Little boy. It seems like. Is spinning and I gotta pull at the same time as I unscrew. That's what seems like going on. Just I have to rip it out of one. Holy shit! Oh, sorry about the cursing, but where do you see the size of these holes? Oh my goodness, what in the world? They got a uh... oh my goodness. size of that screw. I think they're going into something in the wall, obviously, like one of those, uh, I don't know what they're called, they're like butterfly things, and they open up when you screw in. I guess that stuff's just going to fall in the wall. i got some major, major spatula to do here. Where do you see, like, what the, what these guys did here, man? i got a whole holes in here like you wouldn't believe. So. Oh 
Oh, these are some long screws. You never know what you're going to run into when you do uh, these home projects yourself and what you don't want to take on. There's a surprise under you know every corner. Sometimes things are easy, sometimes they're not. I mean that was ra rather easy. I mean taking that sink out. So that comes off. I mean, would you look at this? Wow. Like. I'm gonna keep all this hardware and everything because uh, I think my wife wants to try and put that on the yard sale site or something. Hey, it's still a nice condition sink, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I got some, yeah, those, I don't know how the hell they got in there, but yeah, those things are in there. And uh, as you see, I mean, now this is real tender down this wall. I want to give this a good sand. I'm gonna go get my sandpaper, I'm gonna sand this up a little bit, sand this up, and uh. I think I'm going to put some spackling tape on here. Spackle it up. Alright? So, I'll bring you back when I get those uh, things together. My spackling, my blades. Alright, let me go get that. As you can see, the damn spackle is just freaking going right in the holes. So that's what where the uh, spackling tape's coming going to come in. But I'm going to go cut a couple square pieces off. So I'm putting it on kind of thick here. Try to cover those those holes. doesn't look aesthetic uh, will be covered up by the vanity.
pieces or to size. Let me see. Got the big roll, baby. Every crack in this house is pretty much all this. It's falling apart at the seams. trick to this is, a lot of times when I'm in houses and doing work, you put that paper on and it, those holes will blow air. And when it starts to dry, you always have air bubbles and then a lot of times you got to start over. Rip it all to freak out again because of those air bubbles. And so I found out a trick. You soak these pieces of paper, so I'm going to do that off camera. You soak these pieces of paper in water. I mean, don't get them, you know, just get saturate them a little bit. And then put them on. So I'll bring you back when I put them on. Uh, and that'll alleviate from those holes having two, you know, two air bubbles, air pockets, and it'll be flush. And then you put another, then, then once that dries, well, then we put these on, then we put another, put some more spackle on top of the paper. And then, uh, come back at 24 hours, 48 hours, however long it takes to dry, and then put another coat on. Look at these. So I wet the paper, because what happens when you use dry paper and that spackle starts to dry, it makes an air bubble for whatever reason. And I noticed that a lot when I was doing some uh, repair work in houses for people. And then you're like sanding and you have these bubbles and you got to keep putting spackle on to try and cover that bubble. Sometimes the bubble would move when you touch it and you're like, oh my God, you know what these people going to think, you know? Half the time, you get away with it with a couple more coats of spackle. It would at least, uh, go away. It would finally go away. But a lot of times, it don't. So, I'm going to try and float some more on here without moving the paper. I may have to... It's not going to be the prettiest looking thing right now. I just don't want to... Sorry, first mate. Don't mean to bump into you. Yep. Then anyway, we're just going to sand this down tomorrow. So, sand it down. Try to make it look a little presentable. But like I said, this is going to be inside. You can see right there, the corner of the paper came up. So it's really hard to... right there I'm already seeing some air bubbles but those holes are so damn big that I don't know hopefully it won't be too bad right. it's an adventure like I always say it's not like this is the middle of the wall or something that had been done, you know, that's when you run into problems. So, still starting to see those air bubbles, even though I wet that paper. So I'm hoping with a couple more coats, it'll go away. But like I said, if it doesn't, vanity's going to be here. So I just got to make sure that with the height, I got to recheck. But yeah. But I think this whole wall, yeah, see, this whole wall is kind of like where this area was where the screw is, is, is soft. So, yeah. I'll 
I'll sand this tomorrow. As thick as I put this spackle on, it's going to take, take a lot of sanding. Hey! I adventure! <laughs> Live TV, folks. So, um, it's my call to battle. Now, um, so, I don't think I'm going to do any more today. It's already getting late. It's like 11 o'clock. Uh, you know, I got, I got, got, got other stuff I got to do. So, this might be it for today's video. Just let that be. Um, I don't see any really more, too much more imperfections here. So, it's just maybe just sand the walls. And, uh, look for any more divots or anything that I gotta spackle, but I don't think I see any, any, anything, so I, I, you know, did a pretty good job the last time. So, can we do it again? I'll bring you back tomorrow. If this is dry, sand it up, show you what it looks like. Either it looks great or it doesn't. Uh, like I said, I'm not gonna care because it's behind the vanity. So, can we do it again? Let's set sail.